You guys, the camping season is here. I couldn't be more excited. And I'm super excited to show you guys this brand new product. It's brand new this year. It's the Gazelle T-Hex Overland Edition Hub Tent. This thing is big. How big? Oh. All right, now I'm just about to take that down. For those of you who've been doing this for a little while, this is a great new piece of kit. You guys are really gonna enjoy it, so stick around. If you're just getting started, let's cover rooftop tents versus ground tents really quickly. Um, it's a trade-off and you gotta decide for yourself what you prefer, but let me give you some things to think about. Many rooftop tents are cumbersome to put up and put down, especially the kind that fold out like this 180 degrees and then you got the ladder over here. You also gotta think about whether you wanna be climbing up and down that ladder in the middle of the night. And another consideration is your load capacity on the vehicle. Um, you know, do you have the capacity to securely hold that rooftop tent and that weight? When you're off camber, that much weight up, up top can be a little nerve wracking. So those are some things to think about. At the same time, if you get a really good one that pops up like this and goes up and down really, really easily, it's super fast, so you might prefer that. Now on the ground tent side, we really like Gazelle tents because you can throw the tent on the inside of your vehicle if you can't have a rooftop tent, or you can put it on the roof rack like I have it right now, and it goes up and down in 90 seconds. Now, I can do it a lot faster than that. Now, I do want to cover something really quickly because I was, I was asked in the comments the other day, yeah, 90 seconds to put that thing up. How long does it take you to get it back in the bag? Well, that's a pet peeve of mine too. Bags that are too small for the kit that came with it. And that's not the case with the Gazelle tents. I don't have any trouble. The bags are plenty big enough. You'll even see when I'm unpacking it, it's kind of loose. So no trouble there. Another thing on the positive side for a ground tent, I can set up my base camp here. And then if I wanna load up the rig and take it up the trail and go exploring during the day, I don't have to put everything away. And when you're out here, that's kind of nice. You set up your base camp and, and go on an adventure. So those are some of the things to consider. Now let's set this thing up and I'll, I'll take you through some of the new specs. I think you guys are really gonna like the form factor for this summer. Let's take a look. And here we go, hub style. Hub style. And if you haven't, assembled one of these before the hub that's what it's all about that's what makes it easy is you just pop out these walls and you got yourself a tent how easy is that And think about the tents that are this big that you struggled with in the past. How long did they take to, to put up? And you guys, you can see why we like the gazelle tents. They're just, they're fast. Now I'm gonna get in here. We're gonna pop up the top. Holy cow, it's a stadium. Oh yeah, and hey, 
demonstration purposes only. Don't go having your tent this close to your fire pit. <laughs> put, it, put it way over there. Oh yeah, I should probably mention you can get one of these bad boys over at store.overlandbound.com. If you're an Overland Bound member, you get a discount. Now you guys, because this all new T-Hex hub tent is so awesomely large, it has support poles that go around the door here. Now, don't go walking into your tent with your boots, not without a doormat, for crying out loud. There it is. In addition to that, Massive front door, you also have openings, doors, small doors in the back of the tent. Now you see how these flaps go over the zipper. This keeps water coming from this side and then this flap sticks out to keep water coming in from this side. So pretty great design. Open these up just like that. And anywhere there's an opening in the tent, a door opening, you have, you can roll these up And you also have a tie down. There's one down here as well. And then you also have a tie down that will also keep the screen closed as well. So you can just secure the door or you can secure both the door and the mesh. All right, now you guys, this is your resort living setup. Let's open this thing up. Now, like I mentioned, this tent's a big boy. 123 square feet of floor space. That makes it 62 pounds. Now, the interior height is 85 inches, and it's got 18 of those all-terrain stakes. Now, all materials have a UV 50 plus rating, and this is created for groups and families who want plenty of space for their sleeping bags and other gear. Now, again, like I mentioned, if you're solo, you can fit a lot of gear in this tent. It's a great tent to use as a base camp if exploring a trail network too. So you put down your base camp, load up in the truck, and head off onto the trails. Okay, I'll say something about the mesh that covers the door and the windows. It's built with something called Tritec mesh. That's mesh that features a single filament construction. So the goal there is increased durability and improved airflow without compromising the ability to keep out even the smallest bugs from, your, from inside your tent. And then easy setup, 90 seconds up, 90 seconds down. You guys saw I didn't put the stakes in. Give yourself a few minutes to put in the stakes, depending on where you put it. <laughs> but it doesn't take long to do that and you have a really secure tent. And then there is the rain fly. The tent does come with durable paracord with reflective material on it so you can see it in the night. You're not tripping over it, ideally. And in windy conditions, you'll wanna combine that paracord with one of the 18 stakes to secure the, the exterior walls so a strong wind gust doesn't pop the wall inside. Now, in my case, when I've been a little less vigilant and I haven't put that on the tent, even if the wall pops in, it doesn't collapse the tent, but you wanna secure it with the paracord in windy conditions. <laughs> she likes the tent too. All right, you guys wanna see how long it takes me to put this back in the bag? We're just about to do that. You guys, overlandbound.com, check us out. Download our free app, Overland Bound 1, to find great locations like this, but don't take my word for it. Darn near a five-star rating from people like you to find locations that are just a little bit farther off the beaten path. Go check it out. Now, let's get this thing back in the back. <laughs> Gotta make sound effects. Boom. Just goes in reverse order, the way you put it up. Do -do 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 -do. Hub folds up in the center. Pick up the hub. 
Bam. Just like that. Now, I want y'all to see what I mean about the bag being plenty big. Big old open zipper. And there you go. Back in the bag. 62 pounds. <laughs>